Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. For this December update, we're going to be talking about some YouTube stuff, um, some unique pouches that we're going to start to offer for sale, as well as some custom work in future videos that we're going to be working on for 2024. For all that and more, stay tuned. We are near the end of December 2023, and so it is time for our December update. Um, as I said in the intro, we're going to be talking about some YouTube stuff, so let's get into that. First of all, welcome to everybody that is here. Um, and in the last week, we have gotten about 150 new subscribers, maybe a little bit more than that now. In fact, um, we are on track to have 500 subscribers by the end of the year. That's huge. That's great. Thank you to everyone who has watched our videos, who has shared our videos and commented. All that stuff has been great as far as getting the content out there. I appreciate a lot of the feedback that I've been getting in the comments. Overwhelmingly, it's all been positive and um, I believe, at the very least, coming from a good standpoint of wanting to help and give advice and things to consider, not just for me, but for anyone who's reading the comments. Um, and so that's actually one of the first things that I want to talk about. Um, I fully intended to address a couple things about calculating the cost of um, leather. That video, calculating the cost of Leather has gotten a tremendous amount of comments and advice, and there's actually been so much that has been suggested in the comments section that I felt that it warranted another video. So hopefully before the start of the new year, we'll get a Calculating the Cost of Leather Part 2 um, that'll be coming out because I want to address all the good advice that's been given and pretty much presented as... It's not a one-size-fits-all, all right? You will have to look at what I presented, some of the things in the comments, um, and see what parts of that cost calculation for leather would apply to your uh, situation. That's kind of the stuff that I want to discuss, um, and it's a much more nuanced discussion and there's a lot of opinions out there great advice so i'm going to try and break that down for you we're going to go deeper into the cost of leather um so we'll be looking for that part two for calculating the cost of leather next all right um another thing about the youtube stuff the the asthma video of me making the foraging pouts where it's just the sounds of me cutting and everything that seemed to be very popular so look for more things like that coming in the future I've had several people say that music is distracting from me talking, that I don't need background music. Okay. Um, I will try to not do background music while I'm talking. Um, editing is not anything I was formally trained on. It's just me working on my computer, getting stuff done, um, and trying things out. So thank you for that feedback that I've gotten from several folks. Um, there will be music. A lot of times if there's... Um, time-lapse type stuff um, going on um, but normally when I am creating stuff and crafting things I've got my TV up here that I've got something on YouTube that I'm listening to um, while I'm working and so a lot of times that's why there was music in the background because I had to remove the audio from what I'm doing um, but because the sounds of cutting leather and everything that seem to be popular I'm going to be more intentional about when I film trying to get better camera angles and giving you the audio of the sounds of leather crafting all right it's good stuff um, it's very therapeutic I think and um, it seems to be popular so I want to give you more of that all right um, that's all for the YouTube stuff. Like I said, watch out for The Cost of Leather Part 2. That's coming out next. Um, let's move on to unique pouches. We have a handful of our Blackout Edition pouches left. So this is just a small lot um, that we did. It is the exact same design as our original leather belt pouch with snaps except it's in all black and all black hardware um, so we just have a handful of these left but uh, no matter if we have any left or not they will be leaving the website december 31st so if you'd like to get one link is in the description below all right get one this week otherwise they're gone 
All right, so that is the first of the unique pouches. Um, the second thing we're we're going to be adding a another pouch option. Okay. Um, the reason why is we we have a lot of pouches that I've typically kept on the shelves back here, and they're relatively bare right now because I've got them out. I'm prepping them and sorting them in different ways. Um, let me tell you the story behind it. During COVID. You may have heard of it, okay? There were supply chain issues, people not working, and that affected every industry out there, including the tanneries, okay? So the type of leather that I started using for my pouches, I was not able to get that for a certain period of time during COVID. The tannery just didn't have any of it made, and I had to go with another lot of leather, and um, most of it was pretty close in color and texture to the leather I was already using, but there was part of it, I don't know if it was the last remnants of a batch of something, um, the color was really inconsistent. Um, almost, almost patchy or splotchy, which is a pretty cool effect, but it's, it's, it's not the pictures that I had on my site. And especially when I'm trying to batch things out for people like Self-Reliance Outfitters um, and such, I want a consistent look to the pouches to where if people are seeing one picture online, but then they get something that looks almost patchy on it, um, that can cause some confusion. And I don't want people to be upset um, that they got something that was drastically different than what was um, pictured. Well, we are at the point now where the pouches that I have left from that batch that I bought during COVID, they just look so different from the stuff that I have pictured that I don't feel comfortable selling them as that particular item, as the original leather belt pouches with or without snaps. There's nothing wrong with them. The design is exactly the same. Um, the functionality, exactly the same. The quality, exactly the same. The only thing that's different is the color. Okay, so we are going to be offering these as a separate item. I'm not sure what to call them, maybe patchy pouches, I don't know. Um, let me show you an example of what they look like and then compare that to um, the leather that we sell standard in our original leather belt pouches. Um, and just, you know, since we've come out of COVID, we have been able to acquire the original leather again. Um, we've got over a thousand square foot that we've purchased um, that we're working on. So we're not going to run out of um, the darker stuff anytime soon. So let me show you, here is one of the patchy pouches, okay? This is an original leather belt pouch without snaps. And as you can see, there is some patchwork on here and it's much more noticeable on the back. The color is not consistent. And so here's how it looks compared to the other leather. Let me get that back, all right? Um, the ones that we sell standard are darker. There's a little bit of lighter areas just from where I have to turn it, but that's just the patina of the leather as it's gotten stretched and wrinkled and such. That is different than the color actually changing part way through. Um, so that's what I mean when I say the color was inconsistent. So I don't know what happened with this bit, but I don't feel comfortable having pictures of this and you thinking that you're going to get this fairly consistent look and then you getting patchwork okay so like i said there's nothing wrong with the pouch it's designed the exact same it's just we're trying to manage expectations so if you like the patchwork all right and i hate saying that because it's not like different pieces are put together in weird ways um but it is an inconsistent color we're going to be offering these as separate items and i have several dozen of them, uh, maybe a couple dozen, I don't know. Um, about half of them are without snaps and the other half are with snaps. So this is one of the lighter ones. You can see the, um, the top of it, the flap is a little bit darker colored, but just some inconsistent, some drastic uh, differences between the color as compared to um, 
our original pouch with snaps and the leather that I prefer, the leather that I originally chose. Um, so just because the color is different, we're going to offer these as a different item. Um, so again, not sure what I'm going to call it, but um, it could be a discount pouch. We're going to sell them at slightly cheaper price point um, just because I'd like to get them off the shelves. All right. Like I said, nothing wrong with them. If you want something that's more of a patchwork, let's see, let's other other ones here to look at. Here's one without snaps. Um, this one's got a little bit more red in it. And um, like I said, nothing wrong. It's just the inconsistent color. But if that's something that you like, great. All right, it's just a preference thing. We will begin to have these offered on our site. Oh, here's here here's another one for whatever reason. <laughs> this part of the gusset has a lot more reds in it than any other part of this pouch. So I don't know why that particular area of that hide was red, but it is. It's more red. And so um, that's kind of the look of this other type of unique pouch that we have. And um, yeah, that's going to be coming up. Third type of unique pouch. We have a lot of odd lot stuff. Okay, and here's, here's what I mean. I have three pouches sitting here that all have leather on it that was branded. So the cow actually had a brand on it and I get a hide, unroll it, and there's this huge brand. Well, I hate wasting, you know, a square foot, square foot and a half of leather. So we actually cut that out and we have made some very unique looking pouches with them. And these we made a while back um, because these are actually a slightly different design from the current original leather belt pouch. Okay, the only difference, the only difference is that the opening on these is a little bit smaller than the opening on the original leather belt pouch okay this was the original design um, of our pouches in fact if you bought one from self-reliance outfitters for the first like two years that we sold to them um, they were this size opening that my hand just kind of barely fits in and we were getting a lot of feedback saying it's a great pouch the opening's too small okay so that's where we changed our pattern to widen it up just a little bit and we made that standard so my hand easily goes in there's lots of extra room in there compared to this opening all right so hopefully you can see the difference there um, so just so you know for these two pouches that have the brands you'll be able to see that it's a smaller opening we do have a third one all right, that is a pouch with snaps, but you can see it does have a brand on it. Um, there's a little bit of branding on the front here, tiny bit on the back. Um, and so what we're gonna do with these odd lot things, this doesn't fit into any one category. We're gonna take odd lot pouches um, that we have, and on a monthly basis, we are going to be offering limited runs of whatever we have an odd lot for. Some of them will be priced higher than normal. Most of them will be priced lower than normal because a couple of the odd lot things are cosmetic mistakes that we made. Um, for example, we have some to where we have a very different looking belt loop on a pouch. That's just because it came from two completely different batches of leather. This was during COVID times when we couldn't consistently get the stuff that we wanted and we put a belt loop on a pouch and it just looks very different. All right, so that's a cosmetic thing. Again, doesn't hamper the function of the pouch at all. It's gonna last just as long, it's great quality. It just has a different look to it, all right? Um, we have some where we try to add grommets, a grommet hole to the bottom of our pouches, and we had a batch of them where they're all off-center a bit. And it's like, ugh, just, 
didn't think through the process of trying to put those on and so that'll be another odd lot that we have just a handful of left um, and so on a monthly basis we will be offering these odd lot items um, throughout the year if it sells if it doesn't if it sells out okay um, another thing it's not odd lot pouches but just some things like the leather cuff that I wear. All right, we've got some of these in brown and black. Um, that's not normally on our website, but um, that will be one of the things during one of the months throughout the year that we will offer limited edition items that we don't normally sell. Okay, so those things are coming up for 2024. These three pouches will go for sale on our site in the month of January. So probably what we'll do is just call one of them number one, number two and number three and you click on the item and you click on I would like number one and we will ship you number one that way you can pick specifically which of these gnarly really cool looking pouches that you want okay um, there's only one of them that has snaps and um, yeah that's the first batch a lot of pouches that we'll be offering for the month of january they are ones that have brands on them okay so that's all for the unique style pouches the next thing custom work um, right now i've got two custom jobs that i'm working on one of them is a pad folio um, with a couple side pockets and a little pen loop um, that i am making so i'm going to try and set up a camera film that for you i may try and do an asthma style stuff you know where you hear the cuts and things like that we shall see so that's one of the things i'm getting done and then i have a very unique um custom piece that i'm working on now so i've actually been commissioned by a friend of mine to make the leather belt and holsters for a star wars character named sabine wren now she just debuted in live action in the ahsoka series that debuted in august or september yeah august i think um but before that she was an animated character in the star wars rebels show and so we are trying to recreate the season one belt when she was just wearing one belt with the holsters down on her hips. And so I have been given a 3D printed blaster and I am beginning my prototype of the sheaths, um, the blaster holders that will be used for her. And so I've gotten some of the measurements, some of the dye colors, and I'm going to be working on putting together a Sabine Wren belt and blaster holsters. Um, so I'm gonna film that process for you. Um, I may break it up into several parts, then maybe do a super cut of it all together. I'm not sure, but um, I'm prototyping it. Got approved designs on things and um, yeah. So that's one of the custom things that I'll be working on through the month of January because I wanna get that right, okay? So that's custom work. Uh, what else do we have? Future videos. Future videos. Well, obviously the custom work will be videos. Um, I told you we're going to do the calculating cost of leather part two. Um, there's also potential for some collaborations coming up. I'm in discussions with folks right now. There will be some how-to videos for small projects that kind of fit within my niche of outdoor um, leather goods that you could take and replicate for yourself um, to make yourself just a few items here and there that can help you with the outdoors. Um, there will also be, actually I don't want to give too much away about the collaboration stuff. Like I said, we're still in the process of working on this with some other uh, creators. So as those things develop more, I will let you know more here and of course let you know when those videos are going to drop. Okay, um, so yeah, that's what we've got going on. We have a lot planned for 2024. We've got new pouches, not new, but different pouches that we're gonna be offering. So if those styles appeal to you, great. Um, don't forget, black pouches, they will be leaving the website December 31st at midnight, okay? Um, so get yours this week. And um, some how-to stuff, some collaborations, more of the sounds only type videos and um, I'm still working on my product line 
of trying to carry a minimum kit on your belt. I also have something else that I'm that I'm working on in conjunction with it to have a whole uh, system of items that is um, modular in nature. All right, so that's all I'm going to say about it, and I'm continuing to work on that to really hammer out my product line. Okay. Oh, one last thing. A couple months back, I mentioned the EDC product line that we're going to be working on various notebooks and things. Um, we are having issues with our sewing machine here. All right, Cobra Class 26. We can stitch pouches all day long, not a problem. All right, there's nothing wrong with the stitching actually going in. We are having issues with the tension, of figuring out the tension so that when we are sewing things like notebook covers, pad folios, journal covers, whatever else, and you can actually see the stitch on the outside. It looks good on top. We can't quite get it to look good on the bottom or when we um, go from different thicknesses of leathers. All right, so if it's thicker on the ends and then in the middle where something bends, it thins down. As that difference goes in, some of the tension is off. And we're not gonna sell you something that one we don't like the look of or feel doesn't reflect the quality that we want. And so the EDC line is kind of on hold until we can get issues with our Cobra Class 26 with the tension worked out um, because we want to offer you the best products uh, possible. And it's just going to be too expensive and time consuming to go ahead and offer those products with me hand stitching everything. It's going to be extraordinarily expensive for that and I don't think very many people would buy it because of that, all right? So once we get that figured out, then we will be able to ramp up production for the everyday carry line, the EDC stuff, okay? Um, so I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. It is the end of December, 2023. It's been a great year, um, and I fully believe there will be better things to come in 2024. So thank you for joining me in the workshop today, and um, I will see you next time. This is Justin Nazarene Leather Company. Bye now.